Good afternoon, everyone. Swarms of mosquitoes in Russia, and I mean swarms. Caterpillars taking over parts of the UK. Fisheries bone dry, literally no fish. They're closing the fishery Copper River up in Alaska. Australian government is doing away with the $100 bill. Well, at least our global temperatures are cooling. That's the good news for the day. And think sprouts and microgreens. Which ones are your favorite? This video is brought to you by trueleafmarket.com. You can find the Adapt 2030 link to the sprouting seed collection as well as the links to all of tonight's slides in the video in the description box below. There's been an enormous amount of people writing me telling me that they're being unsubscribed even if they're clicking the bell. So let's do it again. Click that bell and subscribe. FYI, I'm going to be backing up this channel over on BitChute. You can find me there at Adapt2030. Go ahead and subscribe in the videos that I've been putting up inside YouTube. I'm going to be loading on that platform as well. Now jumping over to swarms of mosquitoes terrorizing people, killing animals, Southwest Russia. Now take a look at how many mosquitoes are on this car. That's the average density of mosquitoes in the air and on every surface at the moment. Now they're having a lot of animals that are dying from infection after they're bitten so many times. News media is trying to say, well, it wasn't really because they suffocated from having nostrils packed full of mosquitoes or the bites that got so infected. Don't worry about it. But anyway, here's the area in Russia. Voronezh, far west. Now when they do say swarms of mosquitoes, I couldn't imagine how big swarms were. I've been down into Louisiana, Florida. Central America, different places in Asia, and mosquitoes are heavy, especially in Myanmar too, down in the rice growing area. But this is incredible mosquito density here. I tell you what, when you look on the walls and you see that, it's not a place you really want to stay for the night. And just people randomly snapping shots wherever they're living around this area. And look how many mosquitoes are captured in nearly every photo coming out of this region. Truly remarkable how many mosquitoes there are. They're saying it was due to the excessive floods, uh, the heavier than normal snowfall that also created a lot of, you know, just standing groundwater everywhere that really put this into the Uber all time recorded if there is such a thing as mosquito outbreak in this area. It's just due to the excessive water locked up pooling where it doesn't normally do so due to excessive snowfall. As it melted, it turned to water. Now let's jump over to the UK for a moment. Caterpillars creating giant webs in a bush. Well, these bushes are kilometers long and square miles and dozens of square miles because it seems to be pretty kind of runaway, breakaway. Let's take a look here in the red central part of England. This is where the caterpillar outbreak's happening as well. And the scientists cannot pinpoint a cause as to the outbreak, which means they have no idea. I'm jumping over to Alaska. The Chitina fishery is closed until further notice. Now this is pertaining to salmon up the Copper River. Now even persons that are just fishing offshore with a net, as simple as it can be done like this, they're also banned from fishing. So the area in the red box with that river going up, this is the area in question where the salmon come back in and then spawn again. But the red salmon are returning in poor numbers. Now the fisheries on the Copper River put it at the eighth lowest fish count to date in the last 40 years. But the fishermen out there are actually saying it's the second worst harvest in 40 years. The fish have just simply disappeared. And again, why is this same exact thing that the biologists in the UK said? There's no consensus amongst biologists. And the same thing was said in the UK. Now we have a second instance, the same. They just can't explain all the fish disappearing out of this fishery. And speaking of which, let's jump over to another fish story. This is straight up. They closed off a dam and they cut off the water flow. Of course, the fish are going to die, but they died by the tens of thousands. Edible fish, 30 inches long. I mean, imagine if you could have harvested that and how much fish that would have been and how many people you could have fed with that. The county just decides to turn off the water and then let all of these fish die. This is a complete waste of resources, which we really need to address going into the grand solar minimum. You're seeing caterpillar devastation up in Maine as well because the plants were damaged from the cold. You got all these caterpillars running around the UK, you got all these mosquitoes because of the excessive snow and meltwater. 
things are changing in our environment and here they're letting all this food source just die away. And again, I'm going to bring you back to Australia here because when people are trying to prepare for the grand solar minimum, the last thing government wants is anonymous purchases of what you have. Hence, the government floats the idea, but it's already been decided. They're going to remove the 100 note. Now, in the bid to crack down on black economy, oh, yeah, you mean they're trying to force people to put their money in the bank because household deposits would rise to around 4% if they outlawed the money because people would rather put it in the bank than have it go to zero. The article clearly stated they were trying to crack down on the black economy. And now they're saying, oh, it's about filling the banks. Just like France did when they outlawed any cash payment of more than a thousand euro. If it's more than a thousand euro, it's got to go on a credit card or through a bank transfer. You just can't pay for cash and stuff in Europe anymore. But the thing was, in the interim until they ban this, they are going to start using high tech nano chips to track all the cash. But look on the bright side though, one really good thing is happening. Our planet is cooling down. So everybody out there that's worried about CO2 warming and all these things happening with the runaway climate change and rising seas, <sighs> breathe easy. That is not happening. The temperatures are cooling on our planet. That is great news. I wonder why the news media is not really picking it up because I thought the whole basis of all these trillions of dollars of taxes was to reduce the temperature on the planet. Now it's happening, but nobody's talking about it. Thanks for watching. Hope you got something out of the video. Have a great weekend.